Before the invention of telescopes, comets seemed to appear out of nowhere in the sky and gradually vanish out of sight. They were usually considered bad signs of the approaching death of a king or a coming catastrophe. So what are comets really? A comet is a relatively small object made of dust, gases, and ice that orbits the sun from the farthest reaches of the solar system. The name comet comes from the Greek, meaning long-haired, because of their long tails. Comets are sometimes compared to dirty snowballs because they are made up of dust, ice, carbon dioxide, ammonia, methane, and more. Scientists think that comets are leftovers from the gas, dust, ice, and rocks that initially formed the solar system about 4.5 billion years ago. Comets live in the outer solar system, beyond even the farthest planet. Comets are made up of three distinct parts. The head of the comet, or its nucleus, is the irregular shaped solid center of the comet. The nucleus is made up of rock, dust, and ice, and remains frozen and extremely difficult to see in the outer solar system. As a comet gets closer to the sun, it becomes visible to Earth. The ice on the surface of the nucleus begins turning into a gas, forming a cloud known as the coma, which glows around the nucleus, reflecting the light and energy of the sun. The third part of the comet, the tail, is created when the radiation from the sun pushes dust particles away from the comet forming a long dust tail behind it. Most comets have a nucleus that measures 10 miles or less, while some comets have a coma that can reach 1 million miles and a tail sometimes reaching 100 million miles. A comet is easily distinguished from asteroids because of its distinctive coma and tails. Also, comets live in the farthest corners of the solar system, while asteroids live in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. And a comet is different from a shooting star or meteor because comets do not actually enter our atmosphere. Scientists divide comets into two categories, short-period comets and long-period comets, based on the length of time it takes them to orbit the sun. Short-period comets need around 200 years or less to orbit the sun, while long-period comets can take 200 years or more. Some even take thousands or even millions of years to orbit the sun. Long-period comets rarely appear in the Earth's sky. The most famous short-period comet is Halley's Comet. It orbits the Sun every 76 years or so. The last time we saw Halley's Comet on Earth was in 1986. It is expected to return around 2061. Records of humans seeing Halley's Comet go back thousands of years to the Babylonians and ancient Chinese. Now that you better understand comets, think about this. How old will you be when Halley's Comet returns? What will life be like?